I went to medical school like many Asians at the behest of my parents. But when I was at high school, I had very inspiring conversation with a very famous scientist called Max Perutz. He was one of the people who solved the first ever structure of a protein, a protein called hemoglobin. That conversation when I was 16, 17 really made me think I could go to medical school but have other kinds of careers beyond just being a doctor. My name is David Huang. I'm a scientist here at the Water and Lice Hole Institute of Medical Research, or WILI. I'm really used to the study um, differentiation of T cells. What I do every day is to understand why a normal cell in our body becomes a cancer cell and essentially to try to identify characteristics or features of a cancer cell that we could target for therapy. All of us in our bodies, there are cells past a use-by date. In all of us, billions of cells are removed by a mechanism that is amazing, works silently, none of us are aware of it happening. But if it goes wrong, it is catastrophic because those cancer cells that no longer die when they should die, hang around, that can be really nasty. Our real interest is in this molecule called BCL2. It makes cells survive when they shouldn't be surviving, when it's overactive. And we realized early on that there was a groove on it that was critical for how BCL2 function. And that then led on to us thinking about how we could target that groove. The most advanced of those is the drug called Venetoclax. And that drug works beautifully in blood cancers by targeting BCL2. Within a few hours of the first handful of patients treated, we could see that the leukemic cells were responding. And that was uh, amazing to see that what you could see in the test tube or in the laboratory dish, what you predicted was actually happening in the patient. It is an amazing honour to be elected by your peers, by your colleagues, as a fellow of the Australian Academy of Science. I think it carries a certain degree of responsibility to speak up for science, for speak up for basic research. By nature, I like gossiping, so I love talking to colleagues and more and more with scientific research, I think to me is just about sharing ideas.